welcome back to BSPN in our edited version of our wrap up of the big man show in Spain and the Muscle Contest Brazil Pro. Please, before we get into this, like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification button and show us some love so we can continue to bring you more amazing content. Let's get into it. Welcome back to our daily live feed. As always, as you guys are getting logged on, if you'd like to come work with me, suitsandposing.com is where you have to go. We do hair, makeup, suits, and posing all of the fun stuff when it comes to competing. Thank you, yes, the hair is dark now. I uh, got a wild hair up my butt, decided to go with it today. <laughs> I was gonna just do my roots and I was like, no, we're gonna do the whole thing right now, all of it. <laughs> I, I go on these things with my hair sometimes, I just get bored. I'm like, I gotta do something different. So yeah, I decided to dye it. It came out a whole lot better than I thought I was going to. So I'm actually really happy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but tonight we are going to touch a little bit on the big band show in Spain. Uh, we still don't have any pictures from the Brazil show. So we can't really talk about that too much. Um, I did actually see a little bit of a live stream that they had going on on IG, but their angle was actually from behind stage. It wasn't in front, so I couldn't see a whole lot of what was going on. Um, but I did, I did watch that to see, you know, that Francaelle did win. Um, who's this brunette? Are we, I am not getting into, um, any kind of drama on this particular live feed there, AJ. You're always trying to stir the pot, man. Always trying to stir the pot. I'm not getting in on that. <laughs> but yes, I am now brunette. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> always trying to stir shit up. Look at you. Oh, Lord, I'm not going to do with you. Getting bored over there. <laughs> Got to stir up some drama. <laughs> anyway, so I did watch a little bit of the live stream from um, from Brazil and France. Y'all did win. Um, uh, Angela Borges came in second. Uh, I'm sure that when we see photos, we'll see why, that kind of thing. But I just think France Ali is going to be the standard for a very long time. And it's going to be very hard to beat her, really, bottom line. Um, from the photos that I did see, she wore a different colored suit this time that I actually wasn't a huge fan of. I like her red one. I would like her to go back to the red. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, she looked great. I mean, she's going to be the standard for a while, I think. And like I said, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to surpass her. It's going to be hard. So um, hopefully we'll see some pictures and stuff soon. But uh, till then, we're going to go into the Spain show. So I don't usually do a whole lot of review on uh, European shows just because we don't have a lot of girls that compete a lot. But this particular show in bikini, we did. We had some good some good names on this list and things. So I am gonna go into it a little bit more with bikini. Um, they say Angela's getting punished for her fake glutes and hamstrings. I mean, it's possible. I mean, I, you know, I don't know. Again, I, I don't like to speculate on what's real and what's not because I don't know. Um, but I will say from what I saw with Angela at the Olympia, I felt like she was out of proportion. Um, I, I would have actually put Issa ahead of, um, ahead of Angela at the Olympia. So that's me. That's my personal preference. I feel she's out of proportion. And I think that Francaeli's uh, proportions are right on. So that's my two cents. Um, so going over into the, the big man show in Spain, um, I wanted to talk about this. First, we're going to talk about wellness a little bit, and then we're going to go into, um, bikini because we did have some, we did have some names in bikini. So we're going to talk about that. Um, it was funny. I was looking through the photos for the wellness division here for, um, for the Spain show and everyone except for the girl that won was, which was Juju, which De Devin was on here during our preview last week. And she mentioned that that's who's going to win it. And she did, um, everyone except for her in the top five all wore red suits, which I thought was funny. Um, but they all had very similar frames. Like the girl that took fifth, um, let me pull her up real quick. I can't remember her name. Um, Fegan, Fegan, the girl that took fifth and the girl that took fourth looked incredibly similar in their, in their structure and their frame and things like that. Um, the girl that took fourth is Michelle. So they look really, really similar. Like they look like they could be twins. Actually, I know AJ's on this right now. Didn't two twins in figure come in first and second in this particular show? They're twins and they came in second and first in the, in the pro league here in this show, which I don't think has ever happened before. Um, but yeah, so the, these two look very, very similar. 
uh, it took fifth and fourth. And then we had in third, this girl, N Naridi, I'm sorry about these names. They're European girls. I don't know how to pronounce these names. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but this girl looked to me like she had quite a bit more size, uh, more thickness, things like that into her, her quads um, than the fourth and fifth place girls did, um, which obviously got rewarded a little bit more here because she ended up in third. Um, and then the girl that took second, I actually really like the girl that took second. I like her frame. Um, she kind of reminds me of Barbara a little bit with her frame. Uh, she's a little bit, a little bit on the smaller side. She's not small by any stretch of the imagination. But she is a little bit on the smaller side and I actually really like her frame quite a bit. Um, from what I saw in the comparison shots, she did look like she needed to be a little bit darker in her tan. I think that could have probably helped a little bit with her. Again, another beautiful uh, red suit and everything on her. But I actually really liked this frame. This is the kind of frame, again, I, when I think of wellness, I like this frame. I like the Francielli frame. I like the Barbara frame. Those are the frames I personally gravitate towards. So I really liked this girl's look. Um, I thought she was very well balanced for, for wellness. And again, she's not balanced like a bikini girl would be balanced, you know, top to bottom X frame or anything like that. She is definitely bottom heavy. Uh, but I just like the balance of her frame a little bit. I like a little bit better. I like the, the, the quads and the glutes balance. That's my personal preference when it comes to this. Um, and then the girl that did win it was, uh, was Juji, um, Juliana. And she was definitely thicker. You know, her frame reminds me quite a bit of Eurishna. Um, she was the only one in that top five in a blue suit. And she was definitely thicker through the quads and the glutes. And, you know, I think she'd be quite comparable if you put her next to Eurishna. So I do think there's two very distinct kind of looks for this division. There's that smaller look, um, more streamlined look, like your Barbaras and your Franciellis and things like that. Very balanced kind of looks. And then you got the bigger girls too, like Julie, uh, Juji, Juli. Juliana and, and Yurishna. So it's kind of this, this fight between these two looks and wellness that I'm seeing so far. Um, you know, it, it pretty much plays out at every show that I see. And we talked about that at the Olympia as well. It's just a matter of which direction they decide to take the, take the reward of the physiques that particular show. Right. So, um, you know, while I personally lean more towards this girl that took second, um, which was again, what was her name? Sorry, I don't know any of these European girl names, but I will learn them. I will learn them. Um, let's see. Le Leonida? Leonida? Is that how you pronounce it? Maybe? Um, but I lean more towards that look, personally. Um, but Juliana did win this, so... That's for sure. It's so difficult to know which one is preferred. And I think, you know, I think at the bottom line is, is that you've got to bring your frame in um, how it looks its best. You know, like, I don't think that a Barbara would look great... Do, trying to create her frame to look like your Rishna and vice versa. I don't think that that works. I think what you have to do is you have to look at your own shape and your own frame and figure out how you look your best. And that's what's going to get rewarded. Because if you look at this show, you know, you've got Leonida in second, and then you've got Juji in first, and they're very different frames, but their shape, the way they came in for themselves was on point for them, right? So... While it's a different look between the two bodies, um, they brought their best look for their body and their frame. And that's what I think you have to think about in general, not just in wellness, in every division. I think you have to think about it um, across the board. I think you have to think about that anytime that you get on stage. You have to bring your best look versus trying to look like somebody else that's on that stage, right? Because when you get caught up in that, I got to look like so-and-so in order to win, then you lose what's great about you. Right. So I think these girls did a great job of bringing their frames in how they needed to bring them in. Right. So I think they did a good job. Um, but I, I like watching these these shows that are outside of the U.S., like I mentioned in our preview last week, because I want to see what's being rewarded in other countries. You know what I mean? Um, we didn't have any U.S. girls, really. I think there's one U.S. girl here in the show for wellness. So we didn't have anybody over here that would represent the United States, really. So we got to see where the other countries of the world are going to come in on this. You know what I mean? So um, overall, I see I see why the results went the way they did. You know, I just personally have a preference that leans one way. That's just me. Um, so moving over to bikini. Now, the shakeup of this one, like I mentioned on our preview, I said the one girl that could come in and shock everybody would be Ivana. And she did. She won this show. She beat Ashley Kalwasser. Ashley came in second. So um, looking at the photos and things like that, the top five girls are pretty competitive. Um, 
the girl that came in fifth, her name's Ru Rukia, Ru I don't, sorry, I, the, I'm terrible with these European names. I am so sorry. Uh, but anyways, the girl that came in fifth actually has a really nice frame. She's just a little bit on the small side. Uh, I, I'd like to see her build like another layer of muscle all over. And I think she could be very, very competitive. Um, not just in the European shows, in the US shows. I can see where her glutes are really, like, the structure is great. From the front, her structure is great. Her posing is on point, too. You know, that's something that we have to talk about, too. A lot of times, European competitors have a very different kind of style of posing than the U.S. competitors do. And this girl was on point with her posing. She just needs to add another layer of size on her frame in order to be more competitive. And, and I would suggest coming to the States. And we're going to talk about that in a minute when we get to Ivana on this whole list. Um, so yeah, I, th I thought she looked very, very good. And I think that she could do really well if she just takes the time to grow a little bit. Um, moving up to fourth place, we have this, we have Stein, Stein Hansen. I think, I think it's pronounced Stein, I'm up with Steen. I don't know. Again, pronunciations. I'm just going to keep repeating myself on this because I don't know how to pronounce the names. But, <laughs> um, this girl was in the Olympia. She didn't do well in the Olympia. Um, you know, but she did win a show last year. And now that she's been back in Europe since the Olympia, she's been competing every week. And in my opinion, she's looking a little tired. Uh, she's pretty soft from the back. Uh, she had some really bad tan lines going on from the back. Underneath her butt and her glutes and in her hamstrings, there's like big patches of white. So I'm not sure what happened right there. Uh, whether she, you know, sat down funny and squished her glutes or something, I don't really know. But uh, that's really distracting when you see that kind of thing on stage. Guys, if you ever have something like that happen, please go get it rolled out from the tanners. Have them fix it for you because it is incredibly distracting. Um, you can't look at anything else when you see these big white moons underneath the butt, underneath the booty on stage. So that to me was really distracting. But even beyond that, she was just soft in the back. And I mentioned this even in her last show that she was in, which I think was Romania. I'm pretty sure Romania was the last one she did. She was looking pretty soft. And that tells me she's just tired. She's been competing too much. She needs to take some time off. Um, she's also one that has the European style of posing going on from the front. Uh, her and her back pose, she does bend a little bit too much as well. Um, but from the front, she's bent way too much in that waistline. She's pushing way too hard. Um, all of those things really distort the frame. And she actually has a really nice shape from the front. So she just needs to stand up a little taller. Um, a lot of these girls, I wish I could just go take them and pull them straight up. And if I could do that, they would look so much better. She's one of them right here. Uh, the way that she pushes into her front pose, it makes her waistline squish. So if she could just stand up, she's got nice full round shoulders. She's got a great glute pop from the front. She just needs to stand up a little taller. So European ladies, if you happen to listen to this, stand up. Stand up in your front pose and your back pose too. Don't bend too much in your back pose either. She does that here too. She bends too much in your back pose. Stand up, stand up, stand up. That'll make a huge difference in your overall look and your overall frame. Um, moving on to, let's see what this girl's name. This girl's name is... Elizabeth, um, not familiar with her at all, but she's got a great shape too. Uh, this girl posed really well as well. So you can see the U.S. standards of posing are making their way over to the, to the European countries now, which is great. They need to. She's standing up nice and tall. From the back, she's nice and full and round in those glutes. Uh, nice hamstring tie-in. She could be a little bit tighter from the back. Just a little bit to pull that hamstring in a little bit more. Um, but with that, she may lose a little bit of her glute pop. So this might have been right. This might have been right for her. Uh, she just needs to be a little bit tighter from the back. And I think in order to do that, she's just got to grow a little bit more glutes from the back. I think that's what would do it for her. Um, I've got her back pose up. Let me see if I can find a front pose here. Do, do, do. Front pose, she's doing pretty good. She's nice and tall. She could stand to uh, put her arm down a little bit. It's out a little far. Let it drop and relax. That would help her shoulder round out a little bit more, which would then make her waistline look a little bit smaller. She's a little, a little bit thick through the waistline. Not much. That's that's fixable. That's something that she could definitely work on to bring in a little tighter. Um, and I think if she was able to drop her arm a little, that would also help. Like I said, it would round her out a little bit more on top. Um, and that would make create the illusion that her waistline's a little bit tinier. It's not big by any stretch of the imagination. She could just stand to bring it in like, in like a little bit, the illusion of it, a little bit. 
Um, but overall, really nice pose from the front. Uh, just needs to drop that arm a little. And really nice, really, really nice pose from the back. Just needs to grow a little bit more through the glutes. And that would pop it a little bit more for her. Um, and then we go up to Ashley. So Ashley did take second. Now, Ashley's been on this European tour. Uh, I know she's been over there for like three weeks or something along that line. Um, from the back, she still looks pretty good. She's losing a little bit of oomph in her glutes. Um, you can always tell when Ashley's getting a little tired. So glutes don't pop quite as much as they usually do. Still pretty good, though. Glutes are still pretty good. She's losing a little bit, just losing a little bit. But where she really kind of falls off in this particular show is her front pose. It's her front pose. Um, oh, Harpo. Who that woman? <laughs> yeah, I got the dark hair going. Yes, thank you. <laughs> um, but yes, where, where Ashley, and this is in general, if Ashley loses a show, it's usually because of her front pose, not so much because of her back pose. Her back, her glute shot is always going to be one of the best ones on stage. It just is. If she's going to lose a show, it's probably because of something with her front pose. Um, and in this particular show, again, she, to me, her body's just looking a little bit tired. Uh, her waistline's not quite tight. She looks a little bit, like almost like a little, it's, and she's not over dieted, but she looks almost a little over dieted, if that makes sense. Like she just looks a little sucked in, um, which then just doesn't translate well with the upper, the, with that waistline for her. She's gotta be careful with her waistline because if she's not really on point with her front pose, her waistline can look really thick. Um, and to me, standing next to Ivana in this particular show, her waistline just didn't do it for me. Um, that's kind of, to me, where she lost this. She needed to twist a little bit more or something and just bring that waistline in a little bit more. Because um, to me, that's really where that's really where the difference was between her and Ivana um, as far as winning versus losing. So, but I mean, you know, I, and I'm going to say this about both of these two, about Ashley and about Ivana, their look, like their... Um, their makeup and their hair and stuff was gorgeous in this show. It was beautiful. They both looked absolutely beautiful and stunning in this show. So that's what I'm going to bring up with Ivana when we get to her now. So Ivana did win this show. And if you remember, Ivana also won um, Legions. So she is already Olympia qualified. And um, so this, is, this makes her second win. I feel like all last year, Ivana was really overlooked. I felt like she should have been doing better than she was. I feel like she should have probably won a show sooner than she did um but now she's been noticed and now she's gonna be a force to be reckoned with she's got a great frame great shape great x frame she's tiny but she's got an amazing shape front to back um and she's super pretty and cute like her smile on stage just radiates like she's just one of those girls that you just have to stare at and to be honest with you, I'm surprised it took this long for the, for her to get noticed. And now that she is, you're going to have to look out for her at every show that you go into. Um, I always have been a fan of her, her blue suit versus this red one that she wore here. But again, going back to what I was saying with her hair and makeup look, I loved this hair and makeup look on her. She had the red lips that matched her suit, which typically I don't like, but I loved it here on her. It just brought the whole look together. I don't know. There was just something about this look I really, really liked with her. Um, the curls in her hair, she didn't have volume in her hair. Um, she usually goes straight with her hair, I think, if I remember. But I just really liked this. I thought it was a very pretty look on her. Um, she's always really on point. Sometimes she can come in a little bit hard, I think conditioning wise and that wasn't a problem here she had nice pop from the front to back uh and i'm always a little bit critical about where she places her uh her hip strap on her waistline because it smooshes her skin just a little bit so i'd still like to see her kind of fiddle with that a little and not have that pull on the skin she can see that in the front pose um that really as far as her posing and her presentation is concerned is the only thing that i have to really critique her on i don't know if it's just the the placement of the connectors that she's putting on her suit i don't know but i just like to see her try to play with that a little um and maybe she has and maybe this is the best look that she has with those connectors and with her waistline and bringing everything in correctly you know this may be something that she has played with um but i personally um would like to see her just kind of maybe move it down a little or something like that so it doesn't pull on her skin that way but other than that i really think the rest of this was really on point um again all of her posing was on point where it needed to be you know uh and she's gorgeous she's just beautiful and she's just and again she's like she's that pretty but she's also that sweet look to her face too which again is very um drawing just when you're on stage and you just can't not look at her 
and this is her home country you know so it's actually really awesome that she was able to win this show here at this particular um this particular year so i'm really happy for her and um and happy that she was able to pull the win out here and uh, I expect to see her do some damage next year. I really do. I expect her to do some damage. Now, I wanted to talk about her a little bit too, going into the difference between her and some of these other European competitors. You know, she was smart and she came here to the States for a while and competed here in the States. You know, Alessia Fashin does this too. These girls come here. Phoebe has done this too. You know, they come here to compete. They can win shows over in Europe, but they come here to compete so that they can get noticed right so now now that she's been noticed here in the states i mean any show she goes into in europe she's going to probably win or come in second one of the two and she's also going to be a, a force to be reckoned with here in the states so if you happen to be one of the european competitors looking at a person that you want to emulate this is the kind of thing you should be doing right this is the kind of this is the kind of strategy that you should be creating now not everybody can come over to the united states for a few months to compete i understand that I get there's limitations on those kinds of things, but if you're able to, it's a really good strategy to have and it's a really good way to work your way up and actually get noticed in the pro league. And this is not just for bikini, this is for every division. Um, you know, you gotta get here to the States and compete more often, especially if you wanna do well at the Olympia. It's one thing if you're going to win a show um, and show up, it's another thing if you want to do well at the Olympia. If you want to do well at the Olympia, you got to get in front of the judging panels here in the United States. It's just that's just part of it. You know, you got you got to start planning that strategy. So, you know, I think she's on a really good path. Um, if she continues like this next year, I could see her definitely getting up into that top 10 at the Olympia. So, um, with that, I think that covers everything I wanted to talk about in this particular wrap up. Um, she is, she's gorgeous. She's one of those girls, again, not even on stage. When you just see her in person, she's a beautiful girl. She's one of those girls that you turn and you look at, you know? So that's, that's that it factor. That's that indescribable factor that somebody has and she's got it hundred percent. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to see what she does this coming. If you're not doing it already, you should follow us on our YouTube channel and subscribe over there. I did release a video on Monday for you guys uh, with some footage that compared bikini and wellness physiques. So if you're curious about that, my hair, yes, thank you. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're curious about the difference between wellness and bikini and what they look like next to each other, go take a look at that that YouTube video. Uh, I know a lot of you amateur ladies, you're trying to decide which direction to take your physique. And once you see the two of them put together, it helps clarify that quite a bit for you. And so you can understand which direction you wanna build your physique and which direction you think your, your body would actually fit in as well. So go take a look at that YouTube video. It's my, my most recent upload and it is in my uh, drop down box here uh, that you can go take a look too. That's it. Have a great night. And if you wanna work with me, suitsimposing.com. You know where to go. All right. <laughs>